Good morning, everyone. This is Carl Lewis, and uh, welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. Uh, this week, we're going to be taking a look at uh, some purchasing processes changes in SAP Business One as per uh, modifications to the software that have been made in 8.82 and uh, 9.0. So uh, just a couple of announcements prior to that. Um, just every week you should be getting this email. I hope that you are. If you uh, are not, please let us know so that we can keep you up to date on these Wednesday web chats, our Crystal Reports training classes, and our uh, Vision 33 uh, VSUG meetings. And um, if you have other people that aren't getting it that you want them to, uh, just be sure to let us know uh, that that can happen. Uh, we will be glad to add them to the list. Um, some announcements. The uh, ASUG uh, SAP Business One Summit uh, will be ready for registration probably uh, within the next two or three days. So you should be getting an announcement soon, but if not, uh, you can definitely get there on the ASUG.com website. Uh, but we'll be sending out an email announcement to all of our uh, customers and all of the users of SAP Business One that we know about that conference. It's September 10 to 12 uh, in Anaheim, California. It is one block, exactly one city block from Disneyland. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. Uh, registration is going to be open, as I said, very soon. We're a few days late, but it is happening. Um, version 9, uh, patch level 4, is the uh, what SAP refers to as the unrestricted shipment patch for version 9. Uh, we are waiting for patch level 5, which is due out any day. Uh, just as a uh, precautionary way of making sure that the early adopters um, go through most of the pain. And as soon as vision, uh, patch level 5 is available, we'll be announcing to you that uh, version 9.0 is truly a general release uh, as far as Vision 33 is concerned. So uh, all that being done, I want to move